Right, good people pass away, the godly often die before their time, but when no one seems to care or wonder why, no one seems to understand that God is protecting them from the evil to come. Those who follow a godly path will rest in peace when they die. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 1 to 2. Good morning to you and welcome to the ENL segment of the Breakfast Live show. My name is Lebene Abroko. As you're seeing me today in black, um, we're mourning our general manager, Mr. Echo Blankson, who passed away on the 3rd of October, 2022. He left behind six children and three adopted ones. Widow is Mrs. Juliana Nadu Blankson. He spent quite a number of years here and impacted with a lot with regards to the growth of TV Africa. His usual phrase, it is well, is something we all can never forget. And yes, it is well. Nadoko is one of his personal assistants during his tenure as the general manager. Na is here and we're going to be talking about the man Echo Blankson this morning. Good morning to you now. I don't good morning. I don't know if I should ask you how you're doing because obviously we're all not fine. Tell us something about the man Echo Blankson. Well, in short I would say he was an amazing person. Mm. And working with him was like a challenge in the sense that you would always want to be up in your game. You would always research. He will always put you on your toes because he always wants the best in whatever he does. How was the experience like? You've made mention of the fact that he's a hard-working man, he's strong and all of that. How was the experience like? you being his, his direct assistant? Well, it, it, I would say it was a roller coaster ride. Mm. Uh, it was an opportunity for me to learn and move out of my comfort zone. Because from the first day I stepped in TV Africa till now, he always throw a challenge, mm. give you a task that is beyond you and still expect you to deliver. So it's up to you to open up to learn to research and make sure that whatever you bring to him is perfect because he was a perfectionist. Mm. He always wants things done exactly the way they should be done. Your, your fondest memories of him, do you have any? Yes, I would say um, in his time in office, that's when Nagadang became right. to TV Africa and also thought of reviving Amazing Child that we just finished season eight. So now Gadang came in was like, I'll put you on the production. You are going to represent me. And I was like, wow, this is a big opportunity. How can I represent such an amazing person? So I was like, okay, let me take on the challenge and see how we can fare. And he was like, I'm going to teach you production. Mm. Way back in school, I wasn't a production type. I was here for TV. But as his personal assistant, he puts me on the production. Mm. And if anything goes wrong, when the sound is going, he will call. When the cameras have issues, anything that goes on on the ground, he's involved. Mm. And today, whatever I know in production, mm. whatever I do on Nagadangbi and other reality shows in the house, he's the one that taught me. Right. So this morning, we're remembering the man... Echo Blankson. He is an actor and he was once the general manager of TV Africa. Echo Blankson died on 3rd October 2022. He left behind six children, three adopted ones as well. The widow is Mrs. Juliana Nadu Blankson. He spent quite a number of years here and impacted a lot with regards to the growth of TV Africa. In his tenor, we had reality shows like um, Na Gadangbe, amongst um, other ones. His usual phrase, it is well, is something we all 
can never forget. And yes, indeed, it is well. Now, Doko is still here. Now, um, what impacts have you personally had in your experience working with him? Well, I would say I'm kind of a reserved person. Mm. It's more now, but right. I'm a person who will be behind me. But he'll call me, even if I've not done anything, or I present a report, mm. write something for him, he'll say, this is not good. And all these things, I took it in good faith, not knowing it was shaping me to the production person I am today. Because you do something during a production or for a production, you'll say, no, that's not how it's done. You have to start all over again. And he taught me to be patient and also, I think, submissive. You know, this feminist stuff, meeting him first, he was like, are you a feminist? And I was like, how did you know? He said, the way you talk. But after working with him for some time, I knew that if you are working with your boss, you just have to respond when he calls. Mm. You have to be submissive. You have to be patient to ensure that whatever work he's given you, the result is achieved. It looks as if you were very close with him, with the kind of relationship you are just talking about. Did you ever get to meet his family? No, he's one person, though I was his personal assistant, mm. would never bring family to work. Right. So you can hear him make call to the wife, um, call the children, maybe some few things. Oh, I prepared food today to work. Mm. That's it, prepare my coffee. Will not let family interfere with his work. That was how serious he took his work. Mm. Nah. Yeah. Will you miss him? I miss him every day. Mm. And I, I must say on national television that I miss never checking up till his demise. I was on set that fateful Monday when the news came in and I didn't know how to control my emotions because mm. I've always been postponing the fact that, oh, let me call and check up on him when he had left us and I never did. Mm. And I owe him this amazing person you see and production person. Mm. I'll forever miss him because I was looking forward that he will attend my wedding. Mm. Yeah. And some other successes I'll be celebrating because mm. I just wanted to make him proud. Mm. You just and call me Thierry. But <laughs> the conversation continues. But let's watch these videos whilst he was at work here at TV Africa. But I think that it is important that you believe in yourself and make sure that you I believe in it. What about if you don't believe it? Really, it happens. There's a lot about TV Africa that needs to be. a video on the man Echo Blankson, former manager of TV Africa. Now, what are your last words? Well, I'll, to the family, I say um, mm. and to him, I'll say mm. his contribution to both the media space and the Ghana movie industry will never be forgotten will keep these memories alive because we always watch him, we always hear of him, and mm. may his soul rest in perfect peace. Okay. As for me, I'm a grateful soul. Mm. Let's look at this. But there some funny moments when he's in L is in his element, when he's happy, what are some of the things he says? When he's happy, he's all smiley. Mm. Well, actually, you're looking good. We'll take a picture of you. I remember he took a picture of me. I was mm. like, 
since I serve him coffee, then he'll send it to his wife in mm. case anything happens to him. And I was like, like, seriously, why would I do anything to you? He said, yes, pose well. And it was a, a, such a funny moment mm. for me. Yeah. How was his daily routine like? Okay, he always forward your shadow for the day, his mm. meetings, and will ask you to ensure that he, he's able to run mm. to them all the time. Mm. And I'll come say, this person is not supposed to see you today, so he's not coming. Mm. He would have to plead with me. And it was such an amazing experience with him. We we'll all miss him, right? Yes, we we'll do. Okay, so with regards to this and celebrating him, we have a stage play coming up to remember him by Kuta Images. But before... Oh, my goodness, my goodness. My script is finally in. <laughs> uh, where is this boy? Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> my goodness. Good morning, sir. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. How, how is it? How is it? <laughs> okay, sir. Um, oh my god. Yeah. Joshua. Sir, <laughs> you remember we discussed about uh, my new project some time ago? Yes, yes, sir. I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> this script is fire, my Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I've been contemplating on whom to use as the, um, um, the main character. I mean, the protagonist. <laughs> that's the great, that's the great. <laughs> and you know, I've been thinking, um, um, looking at how good the script is, you know, I'm thinking of using um, a veteran actor, a good and experienced one for that matter. Oh, that's great, that's great. <laughs> and you know, there is no one other than Echo Blankson. Wow. Yeah. You have a point. So do you know something? No, sir. I, I have to get him on the call, you know. I have to call him oh, Wow. we start the necessary process. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, You're a happy man. His line is off. Really? Hey. <laughs> He's probably on set shooting a film. Oh, try, right. try, try, try that. I'm sure the network. Let, let, let me try again. Yeah, try, try. Oh, this can't be possible. <laughs> try the um, same number again. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so off. Wow. This, this, this is unusual. This is serious. Yeah. Sir, um, the last time he came here, he came here with um, um, his PA. I think if he has um, the PA's number, let me try and then get it. No, you wait. I, I, I have this other line. Let, let, me, let, let me try that line too. Uh, um, um, this, this, this is getting... This is serious. Oh, <sighs> oh this project. Oh, no, no. No, no. It's, it's, it's too... If yeah. If yeah. Yes. If you are, can you explain things to me? I, I've been trying to reach um, 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 Echo Blankson. His, his line is all off, and I, I don't know what is happening. Oh, boy. Oh <sighs> what, what is it? Oh, my project, my project. Are is you he still shooting a film or what? So, uh, how did you head? Head, head what? what? Exactly. It's Echo Blankson you are trying to reach. Eh? Yes, Echo Blankson. What about him? I, what? Uh, if you he's gone. What? He, he, he's gone to where? I don't understand. He's gone to say, where? Say, say, he's gone say, to where? Say, 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 calm down. Calm down, calm down. Uh, if you uh, what am I saying? Say, say, calm down. Calm down, calm down. It's all over. No, say, my say, 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 we, we can't go. Say, please calm down. Please calm down. Say, it's all over on TV, on radio. <laughs> and I'm surprised. You have not said. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No. It's okay. It's okay. It's a blind that has left us. Oh, no. Sir, sir, please come. Sir, take oh, heart. Oh, no. Oh, what are we coming? Sir, please calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay, sir. Everything will be fine. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Please have, have, have a seat. Everything will be fine. Oh, death, how we wish something could be done, but some things cannot be fixed. Our deepest condolences 
to the family of Echo Blankson. He will forever remain in our hearts. Indeed, the road is muddy and tough, but heaven knows how we will get there. Now, to ev everybody grieving this morning, our thoughts are with you, especially to my own family, Masi, Nanayao Aite, Lady Telma, Vicky Pixels, and all the Aite family. Um, may God comfort us in these trying times. I have here with me um, reps from the Kuta Images. Good morning to you. Thank you for passing through. You, you, you got me crying. With, really? With, yes, with your acting. Now, let's talk about Echo Blankson. What do you know about him? Well, I had the opportunity to work with him once. Mm -hmm. And all I can say is that Echo is a very cool, calm and collected guy. And um, he's one person who's very patient 
with fellow actors on set mm. and willing and ready to teach you what you need to do, especially if you're not too sure what to do. And I learned a lot from him because during my first encounter with him, after I did a couple of scenes with him, he approached me and he was like, he hasn't met me before. But he thinks I'm quite a good uh, actress and that if I keep it up, it will take me places and I haven't forgotten that. Mm. How do you think um, he has impacted the movie industry in Ghana? I will say that Echo acts with so much passion. Mm. I mean, every role he is assigned, he acts with so much passion, you, you would think that it's something that is real, is actually happening. But then, um, like they say, acting is make-believe. Mm. But he makes you feel as though the thing is actually happening. It's real. And that is the, the extent to which he, he loves what he does. Mm. Did you ever get the chance to meet him? Yeah, I, I met him once on uh, mm. a Bediako set. Mm. From our uh, production. All right. What, what can you say about him? Uh, I think he's he's a well-composed man, and then uh, he's a father to all, especially mm. we the young uh, creatives in the industry. Whenever you meet uh, a Koblangsen, he treats you like a son, and then mm. it's all good around him, positive energy around him. Mm. I see. So there's an event coming up from your end. Yes. Please. First of all, how long have you been Kuta Images, right? Yes. How long have you been in the industry? What What do you do? Uh, so Kuta Images is, is a film and then theatre production company. Mm. Uh, we've been we've been around for some time now, but then we started doing uh, stage production mm. uh, officially three years ago. That's why we started. We wanted to come in the in the scene so that people mm. will see what we actually do. Okay. Yes. Please. So what What are some of the plays? Um, you've done okay, uh, previously we've done sand in my sugar mm. uh, we did that one uh, in, in July and then fast forward we decided to do a new one this month uh, December actually uh, Saturday 17th all right so the new one coming double less we'll come to that but let's quickly watch this video we'll be right back Kuta Images presents a Kuta Body Alone play, Double M. Date 17 December 2022. Venue, Christ the King Auditorium, Accra. I know that. So I brought you here so that we can see our love under an oath. Did they? Is it necessary? Yes, it is. No, no, no. You know I love you so much. I can't afford to lose you. If this is what will make you feel that I truly love you. Why not? I'm here. Thank you. Time. First show, 4 p.m. Second show, 6.30 p.m. Rate, 80 Ghana cities. For tickets, please visit www.vtickets.com or dial star 365 star 999 star 33 hush. For more information, please WhatsApp 020 0996274. Right, so that's the video on the upcoming one. Now, you made mention of some previous stage plays that you've done. You said Sugar? Sand in my sugar. sugar. Right, it looks like the title of your play is, is quite beautiful. What inspires it? Uh, so, let me say that you are not the first person talking about mm. uh, how I actually title my. My staffs, my, right. my productions. I feel that uh, as a creative person, sometimes when I'm doing this, I take this thing on on, on a very serious note. So I get very uh, spiritual when I'm doing things like the reason why I end up getting titles like this. All right. So let's talk about some of the challenges that you have faced as a young person um, in the industry. What are some of the challenges? Uh, first of all, let me say that the 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 the, the, the first challenge I every young person in my shoes. Or my survival face is, is funding mm. because it's not easy to, to put up theater, you know. Mm. And then when you when you are doing stuff like this, you you need money, you need funding. So if people you go to brands that you think that they have they have the the funds to support mm. what you are doing, but because they don't actually know mm. know who you are, the mileage you can actually get for them, uh, they don't really want to to come on board to help you work. But one thing I believe is that when you when you invest in yourself as a person first. Mm. 
that is where people would also love to invest in you. So, okay. as it stands now, we are investing in the, in mm. the craft. I see. How do you select the people you work with? Do you call for auditions or you go through social media or you just handpick your friends? Uh, how I get people I work with. Mm. So, I, I actually use two ways to get people I work two with. Two mediums? Y okay. Yes. One, I use the social media medium. Okay. And then the other one, I use people who come to me willingly and say, Kuta, I think I want to do this. Social media. media. Good. Do you call for auditions there or you go through people's um, profiles and then you, you select them? Uh, I do auditions there. Open On audition, social media. Good. And then I sometimes go to people's profiles to, to get them. I see. Let's talk about the upcoming project. Um, when is it happening? So Double S is happening this Saturday, mm. 17th December at uh, Christ the King Auditorium, Accra. Uh, two shows, 4 p.m. and then 6.30, respectively. Right. Yes. L let's quickly take a break here. We'll be right back. Please okay. Right. You all come back from the break. Kuta Images is still here. And we're talking about... In fact, they, act, they acted a short play on the man Echo Langsing. So Double S... Let's talk about the venue, the time, tickets, where we can get we can get them. So uh, the venue will be at Christ the King Auditorium in Accra. Mm -hmm. Then uh, it's on 17 December this Saturday. The time for the show is 4 p.m. and then 6:30 p.m. respectively. Uh, it's going to be a two-show event. Uh, the rate for the show is uh, a cool 80 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. And then how to get your ticket? You you have to visit. Uh, www.vticket.com mm. for your ticket or you dial star 365 star mm. uh, 999 star double three hash for, for your ticket. Mm. Right, Paul. What's your Paul, right? So I'm Kuta. Kuta. Okay, so what's that one thing you would want to change in the movie industry as a young person coming up? That one mm. thing? That one thing I would want to change in the in the creative space uh, is that let us believe in uh, in the young creatives. Let it not be like we we are a young person. We don't actually know what you are doing. So mm. for that reason, we don't see any need or reason to uh, to to invest in what you are doing. Mm. I see. Let me come to you. It looks mm. like you've been quiet for some time. You're mm. sober. This morning. <laughs> right. Tell me what role you played in in the double S. Okay, in Double S, I played as Mami Old Soldier. Hmm. Tell us about <laughs> Mami Old Soldier, the character Mami Old Soldier. Okay, Mami Old Soldier you is look a like an, uh, You look like an old soldier, though. <laughs> with, with, yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> with that look <laughs> on your face, serious look. Mm. Okay, Mami Old Soldier is a no-nonsense mm. woman. I see. Um, she doesn't take no for an answer. And uh, if she is not comfortable, then nothing happens. Until she's comfortable, there'll be no progress. Mm. Yeah, that's the kind of person Mami also is. Right. Uh, very domineering. Mm. How long have you been acting? Um, this is my fifth year. Okay, so you've done some productions. Take yes. us through some of them. Uh, I've been on um, Dede. Mm -hmm. I played as the uh, Susea Awayo. Oh, okay. I've been on Inside Out. I played as a uh, Coco Latte. And I've also been on um, uh, Dirty Laundry. Mm. I played as a, uh, a mother to a teenager. All right. I've also been on um, uh, Venus Productions uh, Bank Chronicles. Mm. And we are actually working on um, Kutam. Right. Tell us about the double S stage play. What okay. is it about? Well, um, there is this uh, issue about genotype, mm -hmm. which to a large extent, a lot of, a lot of us overlook. Exactly. And uh, I remember back in school, my aunt once told me that you don't wait until your wedding night before you ask, darling, what are you? Mm. So when I got the script and I realized that the script had to do with uh, is tackling the issue of genotypes, I was like, okay. This is interesting. I haven't seen anybody actually delving into this uh, area as far as the creative 
industry is concerned. So mm. I got interested and I wanted to be part of the telling the story about uh, genotypes because um, those the experts tell us that even if your genotype does not match, you can still go ahead and marry and there are ways to you know, manage and control the situation. We still believe because of the kind of stress that comes along with it and the uh, discomfort mm. that comes with it. We mm. still believe that it's better you are well informed before mm. you decide. Right. So that if you decide that, okay, uh, damn the consequences, I still want to go for it, mm. then whatever comes along with it, you know that you, you were well informed mm. before you went in for it. You're a female in the industry. What's that one challenge that you have faced? Just one. <laughs> Well, I will say that in my case, I didn't start as a very young mm. lady in the industry. Right. Uh, before I entered, I was you know, probably uh, 40 plus before okay. I, I started. So the kind of challenges that some of the young ladies mm. go through. You don't look it, actually. <laughs> I'm looking at you and I'm like, maybe she's 30, she's in her 30s, <laughs> early. Early 30s. You're 40 plus. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I see. So let's go, let's go through some of the challenges. So, so mm -hmm. well, the only thing I will say is that for me, mm. I think some of the challenges I went through starting mm. off had to do with the fact that most of the productions, particularly if not the mm. well-established productions, right. you go through a lot of difficulties. Mm. Sometimes you go on set and then... I mean, you don't even get any compensation for all the trouble mm. you have gone through. Uh, if you're not lucky, you might not even get transportation back home and all mm. those kind of uh, situations. Right. But God being so good, it's getting better by the day. So. Mm. All right. Thank you so much for passing through. We have just a few minutes to go. Your final words. Uh, so my final words, I would want to say uh, thank you to, to our supporters mm. and sponsors. Uh, first of all, let me say thank you to Tending Legacy Limited. Uh, snack app, gyramatic technology, uh, graphic showbiz, and then anyone supporting the agenda. Let's meet on Saturday, 4 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. Let's come and see Eh Kuta, Body Alone Play, yeah. Double S. Yeah. Right. Thank you so then much you for, for coming. We'll be there to, to support you. You wanted to yes, add something? Yes. I also want to take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to um, Shelly from Pom Manso. Mm. Uh, Abdul Salam and then um, all the other producers who believed in what I can do and gave me an opportunity to you know, uh, showcase what mm. I'm good at doing. And not to forget, I also want to thank Elulu mm. for all his uh, coaching till now. And please, please uh, show us some love, support us and then come and watch this play because mm. you will laugh till your ribs crack. Right. Thank we'll you. be there. We'll be there to support we'll you. Wait and see. So this morning, we have been remembering the man, Mr. Echo Blankson. He was um, the general manager of TV Africa, and he served well. Now, his burial service comes off at um, Tema, just behind Obunu FM. Thanksgiving service, which is on the Sunday, is also at the same venue. From all of us here... At TV Africa, we send our condolences to the family. We are with you. May God comfort you in these trying times. We'll be there tomorrow in our numbers to support you. And then, of course, to everybody grieving this morning, our thoughts are with you as well. To my very own family, Masi, Nanayao, Aite, Lady Telma, Fiki Pixels, and all the Aite family, may God strengthen all of us in these trying times. This is where we end this morning's edition of the Breakfast Live Show.